Baroque music. It's not something you hear every day. Unless, of course, you're in the fifth period Baroque ensemble class taught by Angelo Moreno. Uh, about four years ago, uh, the orchestra program got to, to a point where uh, the, between two orchestras, we had about 140 students. And so that was getting way out of hand. So I decided that it was time to create a third orchestra. Um, and Baroque music has always been uh, a, a passion of mine. And I thought it would be really wonderful to start that sort of an orchestra here at the high school. Um, not knowing at the time, until I did the research, that it was the only orchestra of its kind um, in the public school system in the country. Junior Mandy Chen, a member of both the Classic Orchestra and Baroque, gets a first-hand look at the differences between the two. Baroque music differs in sound, style, and the instruments played. Many of the instruments in the class have been converted from modern to Baroque. So, yep. I'm not sure why it's so evident on mine, but you can see that this is where the chin rest um, would usually be. Um, we also use gut strings, so like, yeah, cheap guts, um, instead of regular metal strings. Um, our bow also looks a little bit different. These differences give the music a softer sound yeah, sorry. compared to the modern violin. One unique Baroque instrument is less recognizable, the harpsichord. The harpsichord would definitely be the most striking difference between a normal orchestra and the Baroque ensemble. On a harpsichord, the strings are plucked, and on a piano, which is what this would be compared to, um, the strings are hit um, with a hammer. And so these have pluckers, and over here, like, you can see the five rows of different pluckers that pluck the strings, and each row uh, produces a different type of sound. The unique program, featured twice in The Strings magazine, offers students a chance to learn the lesser-known music of the Baroque era. So it's really nice to be able to play um, that style of music. I really enjoy it. And also, I think the social aspect of um, the ensemble, it's nice to have um, a small group where we all kind of know each other, so I think we bond really well, and it's just, it's a great experience. 